I'm Sandra Arena, joined today by my colleague and co-host Lisa Roman, and we are both so excited today to be joined by Sarah Satrazil of Bayern Munich. Sarah, welcome to today's episode. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me. You are a player with a lot of accolades behind you. You're an uh, Austrian international midfield with Bayern and uh, something that we're really excited to talk to you about. You are an alum from Eastern Tennessee State University. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are. Uh, we, we were very excited to learn this uh, fact about you because the upcoming Women's Cup has you coming back to Southeastern USA. And I just wanted to kick things off here with sort of getting some of your reactions on returning to play in the States, not too far from where you went to university. Yeah, it's super exciting. And I had some flashbacks, to be honest, when I was like on the plane landing in the US. And um, I'm not the first time back here I went on vacation a few times but still it's always a great feeling to come back to US and I made super super good experiences here in college and I really enjoyed my time here so I'm super excited to play. You made it back you're you're in Louisville Kentucky now um, ahead of the Women's Cup which starts in just a day or so and you did play so close so I imagine you definitely did have some flashbacks but did you ever visit Louisville before? Is this your first time in Louisville? Yeah, I've never been to Louisville. Um, I think we played some time in Kentucky, but not in Louisville. Um, so my first time here and yeah, it's great to be here and I can't wait to play in front of hopefully an amazing crowd and I'm super excited. You're in the city of Louisville. What are your impressions so far from even, did you just go from the airport to the hotel and the training grounds? Were you able to see anything in the city? Um, we had a little stroll through the city yesterday. Um, it was actually really quiet. I was surprised there were not a lot of people here. Um, but it reminds me a little bit of Tennessee, just how the buildings look and all the stuff. So yeah, I've seen <laughs> similar things, but it's super cool to be here again. The, the games are kicking off very soon for the Women's Cup and Bayern is kind of in the middle of their preseason at the moment. So with all of that going underway, what's the current mindset of the team as they enter this kind of tournament in the middle of a preseason? Um, obviously, we always want to win games, um, but I think, like you said, it's still preseason and we still have some stuff to work on. So our mindset is definitely we play to win, but still we know it's a process at the moment. Um, I have no idea um like how we approach the game we haven't talked about it yet but for me personally I always want to win so I'm excited to play and I think we play against some amazing teams obviously Paris is a huge team in Europe two NWSL teams who are super good so I'm just excited to play and we always want to compete with the best and that's a great opportunity to do that looking at the competition that you will face in this women's cup like you just mentioned PSG um Chicago, as well as Racing Louisville, two teams in the NWSL. Are there any particular players that you are excited to play against? I used to be roommate with Nadia Nadim when I was in Portland for preseason. So I'm excited to see her again and uh, maybe play against her. We don't know yet who our opponent will be in the second game. So yeah, um, I think Nadia would be cool if we meet up again and if I can play against her. Have you guys uh, kept in touch at all? Has there been any kind of like little trash talking going on? <laughs> um, not right before the tournament now. I've seen her a few times again in Europe, um, but right now, no. So hopefully I get to see her at a game. <laughs> looking looking forward to these games kicking off. Um, this is also an opportunity for American fans really to take a look at some of these European sites, uh, possibly for the first time. So in, in, in your perspective, how would you describe uh, Bayern's style of uh, soccer to uh, the American fans and, and what can they expect to see from Bayern during this tournament? Um, I think we're a team, we like to have possession of the ball. Um, we like, yeah, just to keep the ball, control the game and also press high at some points. Um, I've, I have like the experience of both the European leagues and playing in the US. And I feel like in the US, it was very physical, a lot of kick and rush and just, yeah, strong players, fast players. And I feel like in Europe, it's more tactical. It's more uh, keeping the ball and a lot of tactics. So it would be interesting to see um, how we do against a team like Chicago or Louisville. I'm super excited to play against them and just see the differences in how they approach the game and how we play. 
you know, we have a, a rapid fire segment that we'd like to get into, but just before we get into it, I do want to maybe ask one more uh, quick question with, with your experience that you've had playing collegially in the United States and now all of your experience playing internationally with Australia and a club domestic club with, with Bayern um, coming back and participating in this tournament is something like the NWSL potentially ever on your radar. Is that something you would be open to, to maybe, maybe go return to the States at all? <laughs> Um, I've been asked the question a few times and I'm like, never say never, but I've seen the US and I've played in college. I've done the preseason in Portland and I'm just very happy where I am right now in Europe and with Bayern Munich. I'm so close to home as well, Austria. And But you never know. I think the NWSL is a great league. Um, some of the best players in the world play there. So we'll see. But at the moment, I'm super happy with Bayern and yeah, we'll see what the future holds. An excellent professional answer for sure. Uh, let's get into some some rapid fire. We like to maybe close out with some fun segments uh, with some of these interviews. Uh, Lisa, why don't you kick us off? All right. So first response, whatever comes to mind, Sarah, chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have a, in terms of a Bayern and, and your jerseys, do you prefer the home kit or the away kit? Oh, that's a tough one. We just uh, revealed the third kit, which Ooh. is really cool as well because it has like the mountains on it. So I would go with the third kit. It's like Ooh. white with blue mountains and yeah, it's super cool. So I will, we, will we see that kit in the Women's Cup? Yes, you will. Oh, <laughs> nice, shaking it up. All right, something to look forward to for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I love when teams get new kits. It's so exciting. Um, okay, dogs, are you more of a dog person or more of a cat person? definitely dog person my brother has a dog and yeah she's just the best best dog ever <laughs> what kind of what kind of dog does you have? it's like a lab mix yeah a black lab so oh give us a name oh perla her name is perla what a great name oh, <laughs> yeah i love that so much in terms of um gifting or whether you're gifting or receiving a gift do you prefer like to go the route of flowers or chocolate uh, I don't like getting flowers, to be honest. <laughs> they just die so quick. I'm not like a big plant person, you know, so I would prefer to get chocolate, but I'm more the gift giver than receiver. I think I love giving gifts, but if I get one, please don't get me flowers. Whoever <laughs> You heard it here first, breaking news on attacking third, no flowers for Sarah. <laughs> And, and you're traveling all the time with the team. So you gotta, you can't keep the water fresh. I understand. So you said you're more of a gift giving person. Do you prefer to give tangible gifts or experience gifts? Oh, good question. Both, I think, but experience gifts are always great. I think if you can like do stuff together and experience things together. So I would go with that one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, well, keeping in line with the teammates, would you prefer, are you someone who would prefer a night in with teammates or a night out with teammates? Um, I think both is cool, but I think night in. Um, when I was younger, I would have definitely said night out, but <laughs> right now, I'm just really glad when I get to stay in and yeah, recover a little bit. So I say night in with maybe a good movie or just a good chat. Yeah. <laughs> So jumping off of that in when you want to relax and unwind, just take your mind off things. Do you prefer to throw on some music or watch some television? Um, I would say watch some television, but to like to relax and recharge my batteries. I love to go home, just be with my family and go for a walk on the lake. Like I live right at the lake. So in between mountains and like the sound of music, if you want to imagine <laughs> that's where I live. So um, that's what I would probably do to relax and calm down a little bit, drive home and go for a walk. Nice. When you're at the lake, do you go in the water? Do you do water activities? Do you just walk around it? <laughs> um, in summer, I like to lay by the water and maybe go in once or twice when it's getting too hot. I'm not the big swimmer. I can swim, don't get me wrong, but um, <laughs> yeah, I just enjoy being between mountains, go hiking and be with my family. So that's definitely my happy place at home. Nice. Piggybacking off of the little, the television one that you chose, you did initially chose television. Was there, is there anything in particular that you're watching at the moment or something that you've enjoyed recently? At the moment, I'm back to Grey's Anatomy, actually. I've seen Ooh, it. <laughs> that's I've so good for binging. Yes. But um, yeah, my favorite TV show is probably Game of Thrones. Ooh, nice. very nice the best show With, ever but yeah I like all kinds of shows so at the moment it's Grey's Anatomy 
Fantastic. So with Grey's Anatomy, are you all caught up or are you re-watching? I mean, there's like 19 seasons. I watch as well. Don't worry. That's the issue. I haven't seen all of the seasons yet. Um, I stopped a few years ago and now there's so many new seasons. So I was like, okay, I want to get back into it. But I started all over. So I'm on season seven at the moment. So oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, we'll, we'll catch up with you in about two years. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to, it's going to take a little while. Well, I, I think maybe I want now that I know about the Game of Thrones to be for you, that it's like you consider it the greatest show of all time. Uh, let's tie it into Women's Cup a little bit. If Bayern Munich was uh, a house of Game of Thrones representing in the Women's Cup, which yeah, house yeah. are they? The Starks. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the Starks, yeah. Oh, fantastic. A safe but correct choice, I think. I, I would agree with you for sure. Okay, awesome. Sarah, thank you so much for spending some time with us today on Attacking Third. Good luck the rest of the way with Byron in the Women's Cup. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.